My name is Purity Mugambi, a principal karate girls, and I've been here now for one year. I have loved karate girls quite a lot within the one year. Uh, we have linked with the girls very well, with the stakeholders of the school, and we are doing well. The Kenyan education system at the moment, we are having the 8 for 4 system where the 844, 8 stands for 8 years in primary school, 4 years in secondary school, and 4 years at the university. Um, the 844 system is a system that was brought in uh, in the years of the uh, 1980s. And uh, at the, with the 844 system, eh, we belong to the extra county schools. Eh? Kenyan system of education has divided the secondary schools into categories. The first category is the sub-county schools, then there is the county schools, extra county schools, and the national schools. Uh, students are admitted in these categories depending on the marks that they get. The highest marks goes to the national schools, the second uh, uh, highest lot goes to the extra county, going down once. So Karoti Girls belongs to extra county schools. However, of late there is coming up uh, the CBC system that is uh, already enrolled in the primary and uh, in the next one year again it will now be getting to secondary school where we will be having the junior and the senior secondary. So instead of the four years of secondary being continuous from form 1 to form 4, now we will be having junior secondary and senior secondary. So Karoti shall be having the junior and senior secondary school. So the total enrollment at the moment is 1,450 girls and out of the 1,450, that, that six girls are beneficiaries of GTL. This time alone we were given 1.7 million to support the that six girls. We really feel privileged, we are happy those girls are settled in class with no issues of being sent home for school fees. However, we still continue supporting them. Uh, through guidance and counseling. We also support them in case one needs uh, uh, things to use, like sanitary funds, toilet papers. The school has a program where we collect these things from teachers, from support staff, and we support girls that are needy with those things so that they can psychologically settle and learn. Apart from the girls that are getting help from GTL, we still have quite a number that are needy. Like for example, the four months that we admitted this year, we had about 25 that were very needed. Well, uh, the GTL picked a few of them, the others were left out. I actually remember there is one who brought her items on the day of admission, but uh, she was uh, finally unable to come and she finally came for items because she could not continue with education. So some of the cases are quite needy, but you know GTL cannot pick all of them. So we are really grateful for the number that you do pick, but in case there is a chance, in future you can go increasing the number. Educating women is very important. I want to start from uh, what I've seen as I was growing up. There is a time that women was, were just in the village, doing nothing. Education was actually meant for boys. And even the fathers and mothers of those days, they knew educating a boy was the most important thing because after all, girls will get married and move out of their homes. But of late, we have seen girls that are coming up through the empowerment of the girl child. Uh, women are becoming leaders in the society. They are actually becoming the brand winners in their families. And uh, you find that a family that has a girl that is learning is completely different from one that doesn't have one. Girls are taking up. So we really want to ask the GTL to continue working for the girl child. At the moment, we also have a girl by name Precious in Pompo that is under GTL. Precious is doing very well. She's the best girl actually and we are foreseeing her getting a plain A. God willing, we are targeting that for her. So that's a girl that is doing quite well. So there is also a girl in Form 1 by name Karen. She's also under GTL this year and she has picked very well, doing quite well. First of all, you heard when I was greeting the girls, we were telling them good morning once more and they are saying Tunavuka Nane, Tunavuka Tisa. 
we are looking forward to start competing with national schools uh, in terms of performance. We have been lying at a mean of 6.7, 6.8 for quite some time, and we are feeling it is the high time that we move to the mini schools that uh, the national schools are getting because we know we are equal to that task. We get girls that get around 300 and that marks and above to our school. And um, at times we have seen even those with three that are competing with 380. And therefore we believe it is possible with the handwork and working smart, it is possible that you can compete with those. We are also looking forward to a time when we'll be producing women of very high integrity from the school that they will be able to help our country and even go beyond our country. A future generation that will be a generation that carries this world into places.